Hey guys, it's Natalie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a book haul. So not too long ago, I found out that I'm not gonna be moving until late this year or early next year. So I may have went a little ham with buying books. But if you guys saw my last video, you know that I'm going to be going on a book buying ban. And the only way that I'm going to be getting in new books is by exchanging books at my local used bookstore for in-store credit. So if I do get any new books, they will be used and it will be because I'm getting rid of books and making space for new ones. I have quite a few books to talk about, so let's get into it. So the first group of books I'm going to talk about are ones that were gifted to me by my boyfriend. So the first one I have is The Golden Enclaves by Naomi Novik. So my boyfriend actually picked this one up for me while he was at an airport bookstore while he was on a work trip, which it was super sweet of him to think of me. So this is actually the third book in the school Scholomance series, and I don't think he knew that this was the third in the series, but he promised he would buy the first two books in the series so that I can get caught up enough to read this one. I don't know too much about this, I just know that it has to do with like, it's a academia style story, and I've really been into academia books, so I'm really excited to start the series. So the last three books in this group that my boyfriend gifted to me he actually got me for valentine's day and the first one i have is the bandit queens by perini shroff it's really funny because when he got this book for me it was actually the newest book that i had just added to my goodreads tbr I actually heard about this book from Noelle Gallagher's channel, I'll link her down below, but she has really good book recommendations, and so I immediately added this one to my TBR when I saw that she was talking about it. And then my boyfriend got this for me like two days after I added it to my TBR, so I think this one was a really nice surprise. So all I know about this one is it follows this girl in a small Indian village who everyone believes that she killed her husband. So she didn't actually kill her husband, but she starts taking on the role as if she did kill her husband because she noticed that a lot of people start leaving her alone, including potential suitors who would want to marry her and take her husband's place. And then women in the village start coming to her and asking her for advice on how to kill their husband. So this just sounds like an absolutely hilarious novel and I can't wait to read it. So the next book I have is Isabella the Warrior Queen by Kirsten Downey. I don't know too much about the history of Isabella, but she was a queen in Spain in the 1400s, and my boyfriend is a huge history nut, and he's trying to convert me, so that's why he got me this book. I just read a book about Cleopatra, and I really, really enjoyed it, so I think he's trying to help me follow this trend of reading about badass female queens. So yeah, this book sounds super interesting, and I can't wait to read it. And the last book that my boyfriend gifted to me for Valentine's Day is I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. So this book was actually one of my most anticipated releases of 2022 and I absolutely love Jeanette McCurdy. I've been listening to her podcast for like the past like year or so and I believe her podcast is called Empty Inside and she just talks about so many interesting topics and she does talk about her mom a lot so I was really really excited to see that she had written an entire book about it. So yeah I am super excited to read this book. I just have a feeling I'm going to love it. So the next group of books are books that I bought new. I don't typically buy a lot of new books anymore. I typically go for used books. The first one I have is Belladonna by Adeline Grace. I read the All the Stars and Teeth duology by Adeline Grace last year and I absolutely loved it. This is a young adult fantasy horror book and as soon as I heard about this one coming out, I ran to go get it. All I know about this one is it has to do with magical powers and poison hence the name Belladonna. And also this is just like my favorite style of cover. If it's got like half of a face and a bunch of flowers and it's got moody colors, I'm just immediately going to buy it. Also, it is just absolutely gorgeous underneath the dust jacket as well, and I'm just so excited to read this one. So up next, I have Severance by Ling Ma. I've known about this book for quite a while because it was swirling around on booktube for a while, but I kept seeing it more and more on TikTok, and I really, really wanted to pick it up and try it out. So all I know about this one is that it's a fiction book, and it makes a commentary on capitalism, and it takes place, I believe, during the apocalypse, and I believe our main character character is continuing to work at her office job while the apocalypse is taking place because she values her job so much. I also bought this one on Valentine's Day and it's pink so I just felt like I had to pick it up. So up next I have Tender is the Flesh by Augustina Basterica. And this one is a pretty short book and I recently heard about this one through book talk and all I know about this one is that it is an absolutely 
gory cannibalism story and as soon as i heard that i just knew i had to pick it up i've also been wanting to read more translated books so this one is translated from spanish i believe because i believe the author is argentinian so yeah i'm super excited to read this one so the last group of books i have to talk about are all books from thrift stores or used bookstores so let's get into those so the first one i have is love in other words by christina lauren I was super stoked to find this one when I walked into the bookstore because not only is it a Kristen and Lauren title that I've really been wanting to read, but also it has the newer cover and I am so, so excited to read this one. So all I know about this one is there's a love story and it makes people cry. I've seen people on TikTok losing their minds over this book. And all I know is that I love a gut-wrenching love story. So naturally, I had to pick it up. And also, like I said, the cover is just so cute. Up next, I have another one that I heard about through TikTok, and that is The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. This is a, another romance book, and all I know about this one is that there's a fake dating aspect to it, and the main character is some kind of scientist or biologist or something like that. Like I said, I don't like to know too much about my books before I go into them. I like to know the bare minimum, enough to make me intrigued to read it, but not enough to where the hype would tarnish my viewpoint of the book. But yeah, I was super stoked to find this one at my local used bookstore. So up next, I have Neon Gods by Katie Robert. But yeah, all I heard about this one is it's spicy, it's dark, there's Greek mythology. That's all I need to know about it. So I'm super excited to read this one. So I'm not sure if I hauled this one on my channel yet or not, but I'm just going to haul it anyways. And that is The Proposal by Jasmine Guillory. I've heard really mixed things about Jasmine Guillory and I have never read one of her books before so I wanted to get this one to kind of try her out as a romance author and see if I like her stuff. All I know about this one is that it has to do with this girl who gets proposed to at a ball game and she says no. She's only known the guy for like five months and he can't even spell her name right. So you can imagine why she declines his proposal. I heard this one is more on the light and fluffy side and I definitely wanted to try getting into some more different kinds of romances rather than the ones that I normally read. So yeah, I thought I would give this one a try. So up next I have Untamed by Glennon Doyle. So all I know about this one is that it's a memoir and I've heard that this is a must read for 20 something women because it has a lot to do with finding yourself, finding your voice, setting boundaries and things like that. And also I just really, really love this cover. So I was super stoked to find this one at the bookstore. So up next is a book that I actually already own, but I just wanted to get a different edition of it. And that is The Beautiful by Renee Audier. Previously, I had the Book of the Month edition and my other two books in the series were regular hardcovers and I wanted them all to match. So I was really happy when I saw this one at my local used bookstore. I've talked about this book on my channel probably like a hundred times, but basically it takes place in the 1800s. There's vampires and there's like the secret society of them who the main character gets tangled up with. And there's a lot of like mystery in it and it's a little bit spicy so i really really love the series by the way it is ya and not adult so keep that in mind but yeah i absolutely love this series so up next i have ariadne by jennifer saint i really love greek mythology and i've been super into it lately so i was super excited to find this one at the bookstore this one chronicles the story of ariadne but it's more in a fictitious aspect and i've heard really really good things about this and i absolutely love the cover so i just had to pick it up so up next i have another book that is all over book talk all the time and that is Verity by Colleen Hoover. So I have mixed feelings about reading Coho. I know my sister recently just started reading like It Ends With Us and It Starts With Us or something and she really enjoyed them but I've also heard terrible things about Coho as well. So I don't really know where to stand but usually thrillers are like a really safe bet for me rather than like disastrous romances. So I thought that Verity would be a good place to start with Coho or maybe end with Coho because I don't even know if I'll like this one. I've had this one on my Kindle for a while, but I just barely ever use my Kindle anymore because I'm definitely more of a physical books person. So I found this one for a couple dollars and just had to pick it up. If this book haul is telling you anything, it's that book talk hype gets to me, so. So my boyfriend and I actually visited Colorado not too long ago because I tagged along with him on a work trip and I picked up a couple books from a local used bookstore when I was in Denver. So the first one I have is The Wrong Family by Taryn Fisher. 
I've been wanting to get into writing more thrillers so I saw this one in pretty good condition and I read The Wives by Taryn Fisher a couple years ago and I thought it was pretty okay so I thought I would try out something else by her. All I know about this one is it's a domestic thriller hence the crumbling white picket fence which is synonymous with the main character's family which is seemingly perfect but then begins to crumble so i know that's not like the greatest description in the world but especially with thrillers i don't like to know a lot about them because there is a lot to be revealed in thrillers but nonetheless i'm very excited to read this one so the next and last book that i got while i was in colorado is rules for vanishing by kate alice marshall this is a ya eerie mystery and I believe this one follows a girl whose sister goes missing and she goes on a journey to find her. But finding her requires going on this very spooky road through the woods that is basically the stuff of local legend and no one ever leaves the road alive. So that's all I know about this one, but I do love a good YA eerie atmospheric mystery, so was super excited to find this one. So up next I have Dreadful Young Ladies and Other Stories by Kelly Barnhill. So this is just an eerie collection of like strange little stories, but apparently it's like a little bit witchy and there's really beautiful prose, so I'm super excited to read this one. Another thing that I've been wanting to read more of is more short story collections because I've only read a couple in my time and the fact that this one's witchy and spooky definitely made me want to pick it up. So the next book I have is another thriller and that is The Wife Between Us by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. I read a book by them a few years ago and I really really enjoyed it. I think I ended up giving it five stars so I was super excited to find a copy of The Wife Between Us because I've heard a lot of really good things about this one as well. So I don't know too much about this one but it does say you will assume you're reading about a jealous ex-wife. You will assume she is obsessed with her replacement, a beautiful younger woman who is about to marry the man they both love. You will assume you know the anatomy of this tangled love triangle. Assume nothing. So this one sounds like it's going to be a, another domestic thriller, which I'm totally okay with. I'm pretty easily impressionable when it comes to thrillers because I don't have a lot of experience reading them, but nonetheless, I'm super excited to read this one. Up next, I have, surprise, surprise, another thriller, and that is The Guest List by Lucy Foley. All I know about this one is that a group of people get invited to this like mysterious island dinner party in the middle of nowhere in Ireland. And then naturally, because it's a dinner party on a lonely island, someone gets murdered. But this one sounds super interesting and I hope I get to it soon. So up next I have Milk Fed by Melissa Broder. This is a book I've also been seeing really frequently on TikTok as well. And all I know about this one is it has to do with the expectation of religion, mental health and going to therapy and an obsessive relationship that this woman has with another woman. Yeah, so it says Broder tells a tale of appetites, physical hunger, sexual desire, spiritual longing, and the ways that we try to compartmentalize these so often independent instincts. I've really been wanting to get into more like literary style fiction, so I was super, super excited to find this one at my local used bookstore. It was like the first book I saw when I walked in and I immediately grabbed it. So up next is another book that has been nonstop hyped on Book Talk, and I just knew I had to grab this one when I saw it at the bookstore, and that is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. This is like a YA murder mystery, and that's all I know about it. I have have this book on Kindle but like I said I don't really read books on my Kindle as much anymore so I really wanted to get a physical copy of it and this one is in really good condition there's like not a scratch on it but yeah I've heard nothing but good things about this book and there's just so much hype around it that I'm almost afraid to read it just in case I don't like it but I do really want to read more mysteries and more thrillers so I just had to pick this one up. I know we've been through a lot of books but I promise I only have two left. The first one I have is Dig by A.S. King. I've always been kind of interested in A.S. King because Kayla over at Books and Lala, I will link her channel down below, she absolutely loves A.S. King. It's one of her favorite authors. So I already have Dust of 100 Dogs by A.S. King, but I saw this really nice copy of Dig and I absolutely love the cover, so I just had to pick this one up. So this one says, with her inimitable surrealism, A.S. King explores how a toxic culture of polite, affluent white supremacy tears a family apart and how one determined generation has a shot at digging its way out. So I did feel like I remembered this being race-centric, which is why it is such a hard-hitting book. 
so i am super excited to read this one and like i said the cover is just absolutely stunning and if kayla over books and lala recommends it i'm probably gonna read it so the last book i have is probably the one that i'm the most excited about in this whole video because it's by my favorite author and that is A History of Wild Places by Shea Earnshaw. So before I picked this book up the other day, I had every single Shea Earnshaw book in publication except for this one. So now I have all of her books and I'm so, so happy to finally complete my collection for now at least until she publishes something else. But every time that I've been to the Books A Million at my mall near my house, I've always toyed with this book and been like, should I get it? I don't know. It's like $27 cover price. I shouldn't pick it up. I don't know. So I put off getting this one for a really long time, but I'm so glad I did because I picked this one up at my local used bookstore for only $6, which is a steal. And this is like in really good condition. There's not a scratch on it. I actually almost didn't see this book when I was browsing the shelves because they have like a newer title section when you first walk into the bookstore. And I didn't see it there, so I decided to do a wrap around. And then when I came back to that first bookshelf, this was sitting there and I almost didn't see it. So I'm so glad that I went back and found this. And now I have all the Shea Earnshaw books. I'm so happy. I'm gonna be honest, I know next to nothing about this book. I just know that it's dreary and atmospheric just like all of Shea Earnshaw's other books. Honestly, to me at this point, it doesn't even matter what she writes about. I'm just gonna buy the book. She's my number one top like auto buy author and I will buy anything she publishes. All I do know about this one is that it's Shea Earnshaw's first adult book release. All of her other books have been YA. So I'm so excited to see what she came up with when she doesn't have the constraints of being age appropriate on her. I just hope that this goes absolutely batshit feral that's what i'm hoping for so i will likely be reading this one very soon so that concludes my book haul i collected all these books i want to say over the course of the past two months or so and i was not expecting to get as many books as i did and now i'm realizing now that they're all in one place that i might have gotten too many <laughs> which only reinforces that I need to do a book buying ban. So if anything, thank you guys for holding me accountable. I really needed that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a like and subscribe down below and let me know if you guys have read any of these books. Let me know what you thought of them. I have no idea which of these I should try to get to first. So let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.